pause the video now guys and try question 14 to get a differentiation involving the quotient rule okay so pause the video try the question and then press play when you're ready to check your answer with me okay so question 14 given that y is equal to x minus 4 all over 2 plus root x where x is greater than 0 so that the other the x is 1 over a root x where x is bigger than zero, where a is a constant to be found. So step one, label u and v. So u equals the numerator, v equals the denominator. So u equals x minus four, v equals two plus root x. I'll write it in index form just to make it a bit clearer and easier, okay? But you can differentiate it however you want, okay? For me personally, I'll write everything in index form because then it makes it easier that you work with the u by the x case should be a u there, not a v. So the u dx, guys, is going to be 1. Okay, x goes to 1. When you differentiate it, okay, and dv by the x will equal to a half x to the minus half. Okay, remember, the power comes out as a multiplier and the power reduces by 1. Okay, so the power comes out as a multiplier and the and the power goes down by one so it's a half x to the power of minus a half okay now using our quotient rule which is given to us in our formula booklets okay for all examples dy by dx of u over v so quotient meaning a fraction is v du dx so that times that subtract u dv dx okay so all the matters here all over v squared so v du dx we now have 2 plus x to the power of a half. Okay. Subtract a half x to minus half times by x minus 4. Okay. So we're going to expand this single bracket in a second. All over v squared. So be 2 plus root x all squared. Okay. I have a suspicion that we might need to expand the denominator, okay? But we'll do that in a few minutes, okay? So let, let's expand the top key and simplify it. So let's do it over here for the top. From the top, we're going to have 2 plus x to the half minus a half x to the half plus 2x minus half. So we're going to have 2, I've got plus 1x to the half, subtract a half x to the half. So I'm going to have plus a half x to the half. Keep when I simplify that. Okay, plus 2x to the minus half. Okay. So minus a half times minus four becomes positive two, because the two negatives times to make a positive. Okay, so we've got all that all over the denominator squared. Okay, so let's just simplify this bit now. Okay, let's just delete that now, so we've got a bit more space to work with. Okay. So just to be clear, guys, yeah, I, I expanded the bracket. Okay, I've, I've done it in one step here, so I, I do about this for like jumping steps. Okay, I expanded the bracket and then collected like terms in the numerator. So one x to the power of a half minus a half x to the power of a half. Okay, because you add the powers, minus a half plus one makes positive a half. So one minus a half is positive a half. And then I've got that plus two x minus half because this times this. Okay, makes positive two x to the minus half, and then on the on the denominator, if I expand it, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get four plus four root x plus x. Okay, on the bottom. Okay, and then and I need to try and simplify this so it's in this form. Okay, so what can I do? Well, actually, so 
actually let me not expand it for now okay because you know yeah it makes it far too complicated so let's just leave it in factorized form just for now and then i'm going to split this fraction into three components so i have two over this plus a half x the half over this plus 2x minus half over this okay and then i'll try and simplify it so i'm going to have two over two plus root x all squared okay so this is actually quite like a tricky question actually yeah okay but requires a bit of manipulation okay there's a half x power of a half over two plus root x all squared and then plus two x the power of minus a half all over that okay so I'll, I'll leave that out for a second okay to rather than save me time writing it all out okay you've got 2x power minus a half all over the denominator okay okay where do we go from here so we want our answer to be in the form 1 over a x the half okay so it has to simplify to this in the end okay now what can we do to make it so it's in this form well i can i can flip this part okay so i have a x the half here or root x okay, outside the bracket and then times by this so that will now go Okay, and then I can multiply this numerator, okay, by two. So that that times everything by two. Okay, so that'll be four there. That'll be four, one, and four. Okay. And then, guys, what can we do? So this is actually quite a tricky question. It's quite a tricky question. Okay. So, what can we do? Well, we can combine these two and leave that one obviously missing. So we're going to have 4 plus x to the half all over 2 plus root x all squared. And we're going to have plus 4 over root x times 2 plus root x okay, all squared this is quite a nasty question guys here but don't panic too much okay we will if you get it in the end okay now on the top here okay I can write this as 2 plus root x times minus 2. So if I have a minus 2 outside the front, or a 2, sorry, then I'm going to have 2 plus a half x power of a half. But what I'm trying to say is I can write this in like a similar form to this. Okay. By factoring a two out, okay. 
plus root x okay this is quite a tricky question here it's quite a tricky question guy too but Sorry guys, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think at a minute. Okay. But basically, this is meant to cancel. Okay. With some bits. Okay. So I'm just checking the mark scheme briefly. Sorry about the weight, guys. I apologize about your weight on this video. Okay. So according to the mark scheme here, so far I've got three out of four marks okay, in the bag. But I'm trying to simplify this further. Okay. Okay, so they actually, so they, they expanded the denominator, okay, back to the two out, and then cancelled it with this part here. So they actually expanded this part, okay. So they would have got what I got earlier. So they would have got four plus four root x plus root x. Not root x, sorry, plus x, sorry, at the end. Okay. The mock scheme looks a bit more confusing, though, guys. I apologize. So they they collected like terms so they got they got this step and this step okay they factored out a two out of the denominator okay and then just cancelled from there basically they factored a two out of this so they would have got two brackets two root x Sorry, they would, they would have got 2 plus root x, and then they would have got um, plus x over 2, if I'm not mistaken, or half x. So they wrote this as power of a half. The two there. And then essentially, this cancels with this, but maybe this is a half x. No. They, they factored, sorry, yeah, they, they factored 2x to the half out. Sorry, guys. So they, they factored 2x to the power of a half. Okay. On the denominator, 
Then we've got 2x to the minus half. Okay. Plus a half x. Over half. And then plus the 2. Okay. And then this now cancels with this bracket. Because you've got a 2 there, we've got a 2 there. We've got a half x to the power of a half, we've got that. And we've got 2x by minus half. So they end up cancelling. So you're left with just 1 over 2x to the power of a half. Which is just 1 over 2 root x, where a is equal to 2. Okay, so that was quite a nasty question. Here. So that was quite a nasty question. Okay, I apologize you have for not being able to have been like very well, very well organized here in this video. Okay. But if if you chose the other route, okay, you 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 would have done some cancellation, okay, and then essentially you would have actually got to this answer here, okay, in the end, okay. So based on the actual mark scheme for me at the time before I took the mark scheme, it told me that I got three out of four, okay, but it, it was just the last part. Which I yeah, I find obviously a bit more trickier. But basically, yeah, if you if 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 you if you manipulate this here like algebraically, you will end up getting that answer, okay? And if you don't believe me, then obviously check this here in, in like an algebraic calculator on your computer, okay? But you will get that as the answer, okay? Right guys, so that, that was quite yeah, quite quite actually that's the question here, but I hope it made sense now. If you find it useful, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye for now. Take care, all the best.